Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me here for another episode on Backstage Income where I share with you how to build and grow a profitable business. In today's episode, I'm gonna share with you how we manage our customers. And we do it with a cool little nifty tool, which absolutely you can get for free. So I'm gonna share with you some insights here about building your own kind of CRM or customer management system and uh, give you some insight behind the scenes of how we do it. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, so right here, what we have and what we do is the backstage income. Now, from my backstage income business that we have, uh, there's things that span. So you could think of it like, here's our big business, right? So this is uh, the business. And from here, everything stems uh, outward. So we have different products and services. Uh, some of them could be like uh, courses. Uh, it could be like educational and informational products but we also have services. So I have a team and sometimes the team is not busy. So what I ended up doing was creating some uh, additional uh, services uh, that they could go ahead and do and work on client projects. So now what we have is uh, something like Video Acorn uh, where people get their videos edited. We also have um, uh, Local Drip for those of you that are you know, um, looking for uh, website design uh, for uh, local businesses. And we have things like uh, podcast color uh, for podcasting, podcast art, those kinds of things. And we have also another one, um, uh, five star author. So all these things, this, this one is more for ebook cover designs, uh, ebook formatting and those kinds of things. Um, so in either case, all of these sites kind of work together because uh, the customer is similar, but they have their specific needs. So each one of these brings in different sorts of revenues and you gotta still manage the customer. And how do you manage the customer? Well, we use a nifty little tool called uh, Airtable right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in a little template here that I went ahead and created from our uh, master template. Uh, that way, you know, all the customer details are still kept private. Now, Airtable, if you don't know, is uh, think of it like uh, Excel with more power. You can input pictures, you can input uh, text data, you can attach things, you can assign things to people, um, and you can even change the views. So there's a lot of great power behind it, and um, I definitely think you should check it out. It's absolutely free, and I'll put the link in the description. Anyways. Uh, when you take a look at uh, Airtable at what you can do, here is kind of our CRM. And what I do is uh, you create kind of fields. Just think of it like Excel. So here you might have uh, Tommy, uh, and then you can put in last name. Let's say here is Joey, here is Stacy, here is Kevin, uh, Austin, Mary, and so on. And as you go through, what you have is we might take a look at the, the last name, the status, the service, the industry. Um, so here it might be closed. Some projects might be in progress. So everything is depending on, on the customer, where they're at. So everybody's at a different point. And uh, what happens is, is there's different services that come in. So we might have kind of a one person might want ebook formatting, one person's doing podcast art another person's social media graphics so you have these different uh services that people are getting and as they continue to evolve and as your customers continue to grow uh we'll go ahead and duplicate those and i'll show you so some industry that they might be in uh the amount paid let's say somebody's paying you 479 another one could be 595 uh one might be 295 and so on so you you get the process um, and then the date of the project. So you could put in like things like dates in here. So um, all these things get filled in. The last time that we've contacted, maybe request for a follow-up. Did they request to follow it up? Another one is, are, are they on our newsletter list? A testimonial, did we ask for one? Did they, sub was the testimonial form sent? Uh, what's their phone number? What's their email address? What's their website? And what's their physical address? So all these things you can start collecting from people and that's how you build a CRM. So what's cool and powerful about this, uh, as far as a you know Excel sheet goes or an Airtable sheet, uh, once you start getting into the nitty gritty uh, things over here, uh, what you can do is start grouping things. So if I wanna group people by status, 
I could go ahead and do that so I could see all the ones that are open, all the ones in progress, and I can go ahead and collapse and expand those things. Uh, if I want to see uh, based on, let's say, okay, well, maybe not by status, but I want to see things based on the service that we have to do. So if I have an ebook designer that needs to do a lot of ebooks, well, he can just see a lot of ebook stuff, and there's uh, all the ebook stuff that needs to be done or on the task list or all those customers. Here's all the customers from the podcasting uh, area and they could go ahead and uh, anybody who's doing the podcast art could do that. Anybody who's doing and focusing on copywriting focuses and manages those clients. So you have different teammates that are dedicated to different types and groups of people and this is one good way of managing it. So anyways, I think it's vital that you have a CRM because then you have like a customer management system. There's a lot of tools out there that you could pay like big bucks for but I think something simple like this just works because you're dealing with the customer, you're seeing when the last follow-up is and sometimes what you can do is let's say over here, okay, well, you have uh, different follow-up dates for different customers. And as this continues to build and expand, you could also say, okay, well, somebody who uh, wants to see things by, okay, maybe it's not grouped by this, but let's say the last, the date of the project or the last time it's followed up, you could sort by and you guessed it, let's say date of project, descending, ascending, you can see when was the last time follow-up, how many days ago. So there's a lot of cool things that you could really do um, to really streamline your workflow. Anyways, this is a great way to do the CRM. Um, ours is a little more advanced. It has things feeding in from our website. Um, and then also uh, we have different views. So we can set up, um, like let's say this view, then we can duplicate a view that says, okay, any... Uh, open items which then what we would do is we would filter anything where uh, status is let's say open so it would filter it this way so I could just hop over to this view or I could hop on over to this view and then you can even create more views so I could say any let's say duplicate this view any open and let's say ebook uh, formatting so I could filter it even further and um, let's say service is ebook formatting so now you could really change things around uh, fairly quickly and just hop on over to these different views so that's really the power behind using a CRM like this because if you got somebody that's following up for not contacting uh, people uh, then that's a great way to you know put them on those tasks then you might want to do something with somebody else where saying hey if you're working on the design stuff then they're focusing on that. If they're working on, let's say, the copywriting or the writing part, then they can just filter those things out. And it's a great way to really work with your team with your clients so that way your clients are constantly being nurtured, catered to, and the services are there. Anyways, I hope this is helpful. It gives you some insight to building your own CRM. You could use Airtable. You could use something else or do something else completely uh, using a different tool. But having a CRM is critical and important as you can see some of the ways that I went about doing these uh, data is really to nurture and cater to my customer. When was the last time I contacted them? Did I request a testimonial? And if you have it all there, it's a checklist, right? So you could create another a view where you can say, hey, uh, if we're working on testimonials, uh, well, in this case, well, let's filter anything by, um, I could say, hey, anything where the testimonial uh, is and uh, not asked, you know, and boom, there's there's a none of them, uh, but you could go ahead and fill fill that out. So later on, as I go here, testimonial, not asked. Um, so some of them might be gave video, gave some text, doesn't want to give, and eventually, what you can do is okay. Well, any ones that's not asked, these are the people. And um, I can even hide a few fields. So if I don't want to see some of these other ones, um, then I can go ahead and reach out and contact those people. So that's really the beauty behind a CRM is that it allows you to really see the data for your customers and start doing tasks and taking actions for what needs to be done. So I hope this video is helpful, gave you some insights. And if it does, go ahead, check out our website, backstageincome.com. There's a lot of freebies uh, there that you can download. We have a ton of PDFs that are great and fantastic. Feel free to head on over there and uh, you know download things from affiliate stuff and money-making stuff and passive income stuff. 
So check that out and even get my uh, quick get started uh, free guide as well. Anyways, if you want to just hang out on YouTube, feel free to subscribe by hitting the face icon over here or join me on my newsletter list by clicking the link over here on this side. Enter your name and email address when you get there and you'll get notified as we release any new goodies, courses, products, material, coupon codes, and all the other great stuff. Thanks again. Remember, do what you love, contribute to others, but most importantly, live life abundantly. And don't forget the sign up code for Airtable, which is absolutely free, is down below. And I believe you get a uh, credit for when you sign up as well as I do. And it's a win-win situation for if you decide to sign up for a pro plan, which gives you some extra colors. Anyways, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.